All right, just getting set up here for a minute, guys. Just uh, going to live stream some Legend of Mushroom, show you guys what this game's all about. Just uh, sharing uh, the actual link and a bunch of stuff right now, and then we'll be good to go. For some reason, it takes a while to show up on the uh, mobile app. So that I could actually share it. Not sure why. Visibility sorts by. Hmm. All right. Let's see if I could just share it like this. There, I got an idea now how to share it. I'll share it from one Discord to the other, and then uh, get it up. And then we'll begin. So, anyways, uh, this is a new, relatively new uh, RPG game. It is about one month old, and the beauty of it is, even if you, uh, even if you start a little bit late, Every server starts on like day one. So every server will have the exact same day one. And you don't fall behind. Like it's not like uh, your server, <clears throat> anyone on your server will be much more advanced than you. Everybody is day one. And <clears throat> you all just go through it together and go through the same stuff. Every server will have like skill event for the first week, pal event for the next week, and uh, so on. So it works out really well like that. You don't fall behind. Relic event the next week. Uh, new server events. Of course, things like uh, Easter event and whatnot. Those will be... Uh, those will be a little bit... A uh, <clears throat> little bit one-time events. Anyways, let's go through the game what it is. So I'm ready now. And so this is... One and a half hour into the day. So the day just started on this game. It uh, rolls over at 7 p.m. Eastern. So you log in. I could get an extra two hour bonus because I paid the $10 one time fee for uh, Skip the Ads. And then basically you just roll through Killing Monsters. It's an RPG game. And that's it. You just roll through. It automatically fights them for you. I can't, you see that gold silver button there? I can turn off my skills and manually select them, but I don't really see, so I'm manually selecting them now. I don't really see the big advantage. Uh, it'd be nice to do it in PVP, because then you can just make sure that you have a special skill attacking the, uh, the enemy at all times, keeping them off balance. But uh, just gonna load up the video, so if there's any comments, any questions about the game. But uh, other things that you do every day, just log in and uh, click to find stuff. So there is a bunny rabbit available every single day in secret areas. And then you got this light up event. This is uh, kind of all right. You got to line up all of these by mazes and uh, they got to light up. So got to figure out exactly the order to do it. Turn these around. This is a one time thing. This isn't something that happens every day. This is part of the Easter event and who did I mess that up right there so I got to figure out how to turn all of these so that they connect you got to connect every single thing this is only for the Easter event and looks like I don't quite have it going on anyways we'll get back to that and uh, I'll show you a bit more about the actual game right now And what else do we got here? So I can go into daily challenges and have PvP matches against people. So I'll go into challenge here and there's an arena. And you basically, you could refresh a little bit and sort of select who you want to uh, fight against. Obviously you want to fight low level people and you want to beat them. And one of the things that's actually really cool, so all the ones in green are less power than me. And I'm kind of in a stage, 
So I should beat this guy easy. I just press challenge and we will go into a battle. And I should win. Yeah, so you can see that his health is dropping much faster than mine. Yo, Dimitri Root. Check out Legend of Mushrooms. You can download it in the link to the video. And yeah, so I'll win this. And then the higher you do in the battle arena every day, obviously the more rewards you get. And you can see I moved up into ninth place there. And you can see Lord Hula go from my uh, Ebony server. He is the, the top dog on our server. I actually joined it because he was playing on it. I switched servers. And this is pretty cool. Every friend you have, so it is a benefit to have friends on your server because you get gold for every single person that you're friends with. These are my daily rewards for how I did in previous competitions. And let's see what we got here. You get a new uh, banner to put beside your name based on how you do in the daily rankings every day. One question, does Aptoid still work? Um, for Ebony, I assume you're talking about, right? This is Aptoid for uh, Legend of Mushrooms. And yes, it does work for Ebony. They will have a new code tomorrow. What device are you using, Dimitru? Or what device did you use to use when you used the uh, Aptoid? So we got the mine here, we get science in here. This is where we get uh, materials to do science. So in this game, it's ore that you need in order to, uh, to be able to do some science. So Dimitri, but what, uh, what device do you use? Then I can help you out and uh, set you up. There's videos out there, Android phone, and PC. Okay, so Android phone, uh, go into, uh, do, are you in the Aptoid Discord? There's instructions in there how to download it. There's a video. And then there's also supposed to be one for PC. I think it will get posted there uh, shortly. And the PC one actually shows it being done live. So you download 467.2 and then 468 on top of it. I actually just did the, uh, the PC one a couple days ago following the instructions. Um, I lost access to mine when I was helping a friend use their final coins and when I went to switch to a new server to let him log in and then go back to uh, my game, because I went to a new server and not to my old server, it needed updates and I got screwed out of it and it, all of a sudden it wouldn't load. So I was, you know, luckily I have lots of instances so it wasn't too big of a deal, but it was still annoying. I thought I lost one of my instances, but I did not. So it is still working and tomorrow there is a uh, code coming out. Sorry, trying to think of the word there as I play. Yeah, so code, codes will be out tomorrow for a week. Aptoid has changed how they do codes. So you'll have to ask them for more information on it. But it seems like it's the first of every month they're going to start releasing codes now. So uh, at the start of every day, it's just, it's kind of like Ebony in terms of you just got to do all these daily tasks and uh, get rewarded for them. Just touch all the red dots, kind of annoying as every game is, but they do that to make you log in and screen time and, you know, all that beautiful stuff that our families love that we do in these games. So what else do we got here? We have an Easter Bunny clue that we have to go to and uh, I'm just gonna check where this one might be so this one it will be in my profile is it down here 
So I know that there's one that's hidden in the ore mine. Is it there today? No. It's not down here. Not sure where it is, but uh, so in here, this is sort of like a prison and you can capture people, but it seems to uh, not really have much purpose in the game right now in the dormitory. So you don't get anything from capturing them. You just get stronger in the fights of capturing people, but you don't get anything for it. So I'm not sure why anybody would really capture anybody. It just seems like a waste of time to me. And then we have cross server matches. So these ones are a little more difficult because you can't do a practice run against people. So you just kind of challenge them and hope for the best, but you want a really high ranking on this and you don't want to lose. But one of the things I like about this game is while before you fight, you can uh, check out their statistics and compare. So I won that one. Let's go down and uh, so I'll show you what I mean. I can look here, I can compare. I can see that he doesn't have full supremacy gear. He doesn't have all blue gear. I have them by almost 2 million power. And then if we go into compare, you can see I have all the green on him. This should be an easy matchup. But sometimes you don't know because uh, much like Ebony where archers beat horse, horse beat ground, there's sort of a little bonus like that in this game too. And I, it, They haven't publicized it, but I think warriors beat archers and I'm an archer. So sometimes if I could be facing a warrior, I could be in tough. And it looks like this guy is out to a lead on me in this matchup. So it looks like I came back. I have some skills. Oh, it's very close though. I got to get that second hit of skills in. Uh, yeah, it looks like I got him now. I have some skills that build up power as the match goes on. So uh, usually I fare pretty well late in matches because of that. What else is there in here? So, uh, rush event, there's only the soul event going on. And am I still, I'm in ninth place. So I want to stay, oh, top 20 get, uh, top 20 get the Sky Rider pass. So that's not too bad. I will probably still get that and not have to pay more money to stay up in the standings. Um, let's see, soul trial. Yes, it got easier. So I'm on the final stage of it. And... This is one where it is uh, nice to play against these bosses and test your powers. So this is a good one to do well in because there's lots of special rewards in it and you really want to finish this. The special rewards involve being able to hold more positions for your souls, which are basically like uh, specialties in Ebony. So all these games are kind of the same, even though they're all like a little bit different. And they do have an Easter event going on, which uh, obviously is, you know, spend money event. But it, this one has very, very nice rewards. If you're, as of now, in the three weeks that I've been playing, if you're going to spend money in the game, this Easter event looks better than anything else there was. But obviously try and play these games without spending money. But if you're going to be a little competitive, a little bit have fun, you will have a little bit more by spending a little bit. But uh, so I'm just working my way up the uh, the uh, the soul it's not soul binding in this game it is called uh, soul acquisition soul binding is in Ebony so we'll continue to go up here and uh, I'll actually post this in the uh, Legend of Mushrooms Discord as well and uh, see if we get a couple more people in here maybe people who are familiar with the game and uh, they just want to come in and talk maybe people other people who can give uh, some advice Yeah, so just trying to uh, work my way up here, get some free stuff. I really want to get some free soul spins 
because those are very valuable in the game. And it's one of those things where you get... Uh, events only come around like once a month. So you kind of save up all your... Kind of like in Ebony, you save up all your resource, all your speeds, and you try and do them during the event for rewards. If you don't, there's an opportunity to pay money to advance. This game is very, very premature on the money that you spend and the packs. It's actually funny, funny because it brought me back to early Ebony when you would spend $100 and get like 500,000 wood and food and ore and stone. And this game's like that now. You spend money and all you get is gems and ore. You don't get much. But it's obviously very valuable stuff in the game. But, uh, okay, so once you get past a certain level, the monsters become a little bit stronger. So this is an RPG game, and it kind of reminds me of, like, Zelda mixed with Super Mario Brothers mixed with Final Fantasy. So, a lot of different stuff going on there. And uh, the wife brought me some cake there, so... Let me have a little bit of it. It's just sitting there staring at me. Need a little bit more energy to finish this. So this guy appears to be pretty tough. Once he starts hitting me, it hurts. And... Yeah, I got to get him with all those skills. I'm going to have to get lucky to beat that guy. That guy is tough. So I'm at 160. I did open a new soul, which is good. And yeah, it looks like we can put our defense bonus in there. So that is... Can we? Can I put it in? Yeah, equip. Okay, good. So I just added 5,000 defense. Let's go at that guy again. Let's see if that will matter. It probably won't. I, usually these things don't matter. I hate when the pets talk and they cover up my health bar. Oh, it did matter. I got this guy. Nice. And uh, the good thing about this game, or this skill competition that I'm in... Uh, the one guy's really tough, and then they're all pretty easy. So, like, every tenth opponent will be, like, the boss, the end boss. Come on, finish him off before he gets the next hit on me. Good. So, let's keep climbing up here and see. Oh, that's tough. I shouldn't have had that cake. Now I want uh, more of it. Not an ebony cake, by the way. Ebony cakes are $2,000. That's bullshit. So anyone uh, viewing who's checked this game out yet, it's actually pretty good. I thought the first day or two, I was like, I don't see how I would be hooked and like this. And uh, a lot of my alliance are on it, obviously, as we bought in Ebony and don't have to log in. And we play this on the side, and it's good. Obviously, if Ebony was like how it was two years ago, pre, uh, you know, robotics... We wouldn't be able to because Ebony was life back then. Without it, you know, it was all consuming. So I barely lost to that guy. And one thing I do like about this game, there is a luck factor. So I could, pro I could probably beat this guy. I just got to keep running it back. See, he hits me and he hits hard. So I got to hope that I get like a skill critical and finish him off like that. Because maybe the last time I didn't get one or I didn't get a combo. So I didn't hit him multiple times with one hit. But here he is again and probably slightly stronger. Sometimes they just want to hit you. And you have to have some uh, slow movement spells on to stop them from walking towards you faster. This blob is usually pretty easy. But I am getting pretty high up. So look, he stays e easy. That's nice. I'd like to face him again. Nope. The cobra. The strongest of all dragons. Oh, 
looks like that guy one shot me. So he's got 500% stronger than he normally is. Uh, the higher you go, and yeah, he one shots me and I die. So I'm not going to get higher than him. Let's uh, let's just look for a second though and see how I did in the trials. How many people are above me on server? So. Yeah, so some people got up to 170. I'm at 165. Looks like if I can beat him, I can probably jump up to 170. So there's like a t oh, Hooligo, 170. So there's a couple tough bosses, and when you face them, you just lose. And then you have to wait for the next day when they aren't, uh, when they aren't so tough. They lose their percentage. Okay, and now what will we do in the game? Oh, so there's these. Yeah, so I will. So if we look, uh, I'll take a picture here for you guys. So if you look down here, this is the event tab of all the monsters I have to beat for the day for, you know, uh, you get a certain amount of like items that you need in the day. And then here, these are your tasks that you have to do. So I have to beat one of these. So we'll go in here and beat him. He's really easy, but then I can tick it off and then move on to the other tasks. It's like in Ebony where they have quest on the side. So I beat him, tick it off, and now I have to light the lamp 110 times. And lighting this lamp at the bottom, this will level up your character and it will also uh, give you gold, and give you new gear if it finds any that's good enough. But uh, looking at it here, these are the chances I have to get it. There's only a 0.025% chance I would get any gear better than mine that I currently have. And the higher you level it up, the better chance that you'll actually get some. So now it's about to finish that quest and now I, have, I beat that guy. Now I have to beat 160 opponents. So that says my guy goes across the screen. And those are all pretty automated, but I can participate it once again by turning that gold button on and off to auto my skills or not, if I want it to run auto for me. And I'm just doing the daily tasks and getting the free rewards for doing so. So all these games, like whether they're R RPG, like this one, or... MMO or uh, RTS like Ebony, they're all the same. They all have the daily tasks. They all know how to hook you and get you to log in nonstop. They know how to get you clicking around, find looking for everything. Let's actually go to this bunny event and this light it up. So I have to connect all of these. So it's getting harder. So nothing. this is the easiest one. Nothing will connect here except that one. So that means this one has to go there. And this one has to turn around. So is this one. Okay, so it's getting kind of a little bit easy. So I think mm, now it's getting a little confusing. So I... Yeah, so I can't turn that, so it has to go like that. This one has to go here. So this is actually a good puzzle in the game. We all know about some bad puzzles. Huh. But I'm a little confused on this part. So that obviously connects there. And there. Okay, I think I got it. Ugh, but now what do I... Huh, okay, wait. Okay, turn that around. There we go. Nice. That took a little bit. That's the toughest one yet. Yeah, usually they, and that was free rewards for the day. Usually it's been uh, very, very simple ones. So add a few points to the bunny event and 
this is actually one that I may have to spend money. Um, I'm in, where's the point total for this? So I'm in eighth place and my point total is One thousand and thirteen, and I would really like third, twelve eighty seven. I'm gonna have to start uh, keeping track of how many points I get in this event for every task I do, and see if it's worth it for me to spend money because that is a good prize to get third. Um, there are these red souls that you can pick to do anything, and they give you very good buffs. Or I could try to finish six to ten. And that's, I guess, a runner-up reward. This isn't the game where I'm trying to be number one. Uh, just having a good time and playing it. So not overly concerned with all that stuff. But you do have to spend a little bit of money to have some fun. Or else uh, you just get destroyed. Yesterday, I think I spent $300. And that's the first I've spent in... Since like the first two days I started playing. So I noticed myself really falling down in the rankings and daily rewards and the arena battles. So I was like, okay, I got to spend a little bit. What event after skill sprint? Okay, so I will uh, look on my other phone because I have these. So if you go into the description to this video, you, could, you can join the uh, Discord or my Reddit, and I have them both posted in there as well. But I'll look it up for you. So, it I have, so what event after skill? That's what you're asking. I'm on Pell right now. So skill, so no one knows right now. That's the ending. Um, relic, relic event continues to go on all week after skill. So it goes on for another three or four days. I do have this other one. Let me zoom in and see so sprint week mount yeah they're in different languages this one so tr tech relic wuhan skill sprint okay so skill sprint it says is on yeah that's the fourth one and it's going to take 2000 a day to level up so skill sprint is week four looks like Relic, and then it says there's a companion event. So that's going to be a two day event. Companion event. So is that your pets again? Your pals again? That's That would be my guess. Because that's uh, week five. Week seven says family prayer week. So. Prayers. So are we going back to the statue? We're going to go back in here. Prayer statue. So I think it just cycles around. So that's what I think will happen. We'll get back to statue event. So I've been saving up a lot for that. Um, basically, as soon as I noticed that... Uh, oh, there's events coming that you could save money by saving all, that, all the items... I started to save. I did go a little bit. Uh, I, I spent a lot of my skill books yesterday because when I spent money, I was like, well, I might as well really up my game and use my skill books because I was falling behind and that was like a one glaring weakness. So I'll show you my skills and they're all red now, but they're all level one. But it was such a glaring weakness. I was playing with orange and yellow ones, and it was like, yeah, bro, you got to up that game. Uh, <clears throat> a guy in my alliance actually told me, he's like, look, I'm getting 4,000% on them, and you're getting 1,000. That's where you're lacking. So we'll see how that affects me in skill event, how far down in the rankings I go. Yeah, so Latifa, are you in uh, the Discord or Reddit groups?
So I'm going to find the Easter clue right now for us, actually. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to look. I got the images of where they all are. And let me look. Is there going to be one in here? No, it's not in here yet. But let's fight this guy. So it could be in the skill event. So I'm, I got a picture of where all of the Easter bunnies are. Hey, GK, one weird question. What do you think Ebony did after the last development call? Do you think they will do what was said to them? Or what do you think in your own opinion? Can you be more specific? There was lots of topics. And did you see my video a couple days ago? Ebony gave a response to the developer call. And they said which items they will implement and which ones they won't and which ones they may implement in many months from now and which ones they will do in two weeks. So some of them are just lies, obviously. Like Ebony doesn't care about us, I'll tell you that. The only reason they had a developer call is because they are no longer profiting like they used to. Um, <clears throat> so where are the other places I gotta look here? In the pal and shop, no, nope, not there. So I'll use my free draws on tickets and pals. See, hopefully I get some red ones. Really like red or pink, but not uh, any luck yet. No. Okay, and let's level them up. Didn't level up a single red or pink. Nope. Okay, where's my other places to look for? Let's look on the farm. There might be, nope, no bunny there. Go to crop steel. Are they there? Nope. And it's not in here. Is it in the mine, the bunny? Nope, don't see it. Okay, the other places that the bunny would be, so it could be in arena standings. Nope. Hmm. Where is today's bunny? Okay, I think maybe I got it. Is this the last place to look? No, it's not in there. Skill. Huh. So I've looked. I think I've looked everywhere. Does anyone know where this bunny is today? There's Easter bunnies. Let me look back at that arena picture again. No, it's not there. Okay, it's not in the arena. Yeah, I'm in the Aptoid Discord group, but I'm not in your Discord. Yeah, so my Discord, I post my videos after I do them. Um, let me make sure that I did actually post uh, the uh, developer Discord, the developer results. I think I did. I did. So it's in there, you can find it. So in the, let me look in the mine again. Yeah, so it's not here. Anyone for anyone playing this game right now where no, knows where the Easter Bunny is? Cause I'm not having any luck finding this. And it's, I know where they're supposed to be, but I'm just not finding them. Like I got pictures of all seven days. So. There's one supposed to be in here, but it's not showing. not in the pals 
supposed to be one here. Maybe if I move around to the packs that you can buy with money. Nope. And that's the last place I know to look. Unless it's in... Did I get it already accidentally? Actually, the rabbit is your pal. Yeah, so it's supposed... Ah, there it is in the bottom right corner. Nice. I think they moved it. I don't think that was supposed to be there. Uh, maybe they got a little tip because uh, everyone was sharing them. So uh, let's just do these draws one at a time and see what we get. Nothing good. Let's go back into the shop and do some uh, pal draws. All useless again. All right, so we have to Lamp Thief again. He's uh, super easy. Yeah, so I'm trying to get this one final piece of... Uh, oh, and I could speed up how fast I go against monsters too. So let's speed that up. I'm trying to get this one last gear right there to supremacy level. And that will add a lot to my power. But it's very hard. There's 10 pieces of gear and... Uh, and I'm not getting them. So this is, this is like Ebony, people spend money and you get something from them. But in this case, you get gems. And gems are always cool. Gems you can use in all sorts of different uh, parts of the game. Basically, they let you get extra chances in the events where you're saving up items to do the event. Like, for instance, right here, the soul event. I could... Uh, use my gems and rank higher in this event if I wanted to. I think I'm saving them up to use in the skill event because my skills are very, very lacking and I would love to level them up. I'd love to get some pink skills. Those are very strong, much stronger than what I have. So we got to go against this guy again. So it has daily tasks and that's basically what I'm following right now. How I'm deciding how to play. Basically in the uh, bottom left corner, it tells you exactly where I showed you a little bit ago. I will highlight it again for anyone else who's just tuned in. So basically tells you the tasks you have to complete as you go through the game, much like Quest in Ebony. Only Ebony, it's like, yeah, that's for like a week. And then you just need to pay thousands and thousands of dollars. And this game, the thing I do like is that it's chill. It just plays for you. Someone was telling me in my Discord earlier today something about a game called AFK. I don't know anything about it, but this game's pretty AFK, pretty relaxed. Not too, uh, too much thinking needs to go on in it. It's not too... Pay to, it's not pay to play at all. It's slightly pay to win, pay to speed up. You basically pay a bit of money and you get a week ahead of people. So 
it's not too bad. Like you don't completely fall behind someone who spent a crap load of money. Their money's only going to keep them ahead of you for so long. So we might as well do another daily challenge and let's go. Let's uh, try and beat someone here. Who can we beat? I never like to go against this guy's name's Peanut. I gotta be able to beat him, right? So I'm gonna show you one thing you can do here that's cool. You can hit practice, and this won't count as one of your daily challenges against the player, and you see how you do. So you don't waste one of the challenges. So looks like I should have used it, because now he won't show up in my next, uh... oh, what we get? Oh, we got our last supremacy gear. Amazing. That will really strengthen us. So my power is going to go from 12.34 million to 12.41. Not as much as I thought. So I only went up about 800,000. 800, I thought I'd go up more. So if I go to challenge, I can keep an eye out for Peanut. Because I know I just beat him. I know I beat this Hensu guy all the time. So that's why I selected him. I think he's actually in my alliance. But it's pretty hard not to go against people in your alliance in this because um, there's really only two big alliances on my server. And maybe one day we will unite. But for now, we'll kind of let the dust settle for a month or two, see how many people stick with the game, how many people quit, and then maybe start playing together. But right now... It, I think it has like a friendly competition of who's the best alliance. Um, I guess it's us so far. But we do have the advantage of uh, Lord Hulago, who is the best on server. Ice. I think I beat him, but I don't like to, uh, I don't like to do risky battles in the arena because I want to win all the time. Or else you go down. Also... Because uh, people target you. So like, if someone beats you, they will target you for all of their daily attacks. So you have to win because you're going to be losing when people are targeting you. Okay, let's go out here. And uh, we ran out of lamp. So... Character reaches 107. Yeah, so... I'm at level 106, and 107 is a very key level. So I love that I could just sweep here. I don't even have to do these battles if I don't want. I can just get the rewards. And that's what you're seeing me do now. Because it can be annoying. Let's see, can I go up against Lord Huligo? This is the top guy on server. Um... Not really sure how this event goes. You just jump in and a bunch of people fight against this boss together. They make it seem like the top guy on server is who you're fighting against. So I got server rank 6 right there. And that's about where I value myself on server. I think I'm around 5 to 10th best. Not top, th definitely not top 3. At one point I thought I was going to be top 3, like that was going to be my goal. But... Uh, I've scaled it back a bit and thought, like, you know what, like, let's just play and have fun, leave this as a casual game, and see. So, now, this is one of those games, kind of like, I guess, Hun's Invasion on Ebony. You get to just play with other people randomly on server and fight against stuff. And, yeah, so I'm in the middle. I'm the green guy. I won this on a wheel, random luck. And it's an avatar and it gives me 1% more of everything. Nothing too special. That's one thing I like about the game. The advantages you get from luck or paying money aren't too big. And I'll add that guy as a friend because uh, you get more gold the more friends you have every day. So we're ready. Let's go into that battle. 
and Just had to put a little promo out for the uh, for the stream. There's a guy who always tells me I need to stream more, and he'd come watch and uh, talk some smack. But uh, I don't know. I guess he's all talk. Bad Aussie. Got to get him hooked on this game. So this is the most to me this event I'm doing right now is the most annoying daily task you have to do because I can't just uh, sweep and finish it. I have to actually do them, which is annoying. It's kind of like patrol in uh, Ebony. I hate doing that on the wall. There we go, the bad Aussie is here. We gotta give that a heart. Or is it party time? Share the cake. Man, Aussie, I didn't even tell you, it was my birthday yesterday. I didn't wanna, you know, I didn't want you to be too mean to me. Was it, it was yesterday, but that'd be like two days ago for you in Australia. I got my birthday stolen by Easter this year. But I laid the guilt trip on. How, how's the lighting doing? I only got one of the new lights up. And then I got the, uh, the other old insufficient light still up. I could... Uh, so I have three light options now. So I can make a triangle. Plus the light emanating from you on the TV. Your uh, nice avatar, always cheerful. So, kind of four lights. Ozzy, download this game. Join my server. You can play with me and the tiger. Makeup looks great. I need more lipstick. It's chocolate lipstick. Where have I been? Where in Australia are you from? Gold Coast? That's where Warzilla was. Maybe you guys know each other. OG C1 players. Vegas. Well, Vegas always sounds nice. I got some friends going there in a couple of weeks, and for some reason my wife thought we wouldn't want to go. Maybe just wouldn't want to go with her. Or maybe she feels the same. Maybe that's why we're not going. Just an epiphany there. Hey, save the humans. All right, so I think I've done all my daily challenges. So basically, I've just finished all the... Every game has annoying tasks you got to do every day. And it seems like I've done all of them. 
Except share the game once. Does anyone actually ever do this? So that's the task. Does anyone ever share their game? Or are you all like me? Just uh, playing in secrecy, too embarrassed to share your bad habits with people on Facebook. I really only have Facebook now to log into these stupid games. So, you grow a garden here, and uh, you get some points at the top, and then you can grow more stuff. But this comes in uh, to play in the game, because you can steal other people's gardens too, and you don't really steal much. And it comes into play because you got to build up your statue, and this stupid thing is like uh, refining in Ebony, where you got to do locks. And it takes more every time. You can see at the bottom there, if I unlock them, it costs more to, each time. So, luckily I play Ebony. Not lucky because Ebony's trash. But uh, lucky because uh, I figured out quickly, like, oh crap. I gotta lock these in and I am wasting these uh, things. Will you be a mushroom whale? How much do the packs cost? I'll show you the packs. So... Uh, I won't be a whale. A guy on my server, like the second best account, he's an all-star finalist in Ebony. He's our whale. He has the exact same name. He's Lord Hooligo. Um, I'm top five on server, probably. I've spent about... I've spent about... Hey, thanks, so Simple Soul. I've spent about... Probably like six or seven hundred dollars, which is like... 900 because the Aptoid discounts. So that's about the money I've spent. He's probably spent triple that. So I'll show you the packs. So they have the what? This is like pink gems in Ebony right here, but they're white diamonds. So you could bank money, but they're gone right now because I've spent, I bought all of these because they actually give you a bonus if you load. They call it a recharge bonus. And you get a bonus in there. If you do this and then buy a pack. So now I'll show you the packs. So in the shop, you go over here. These are the type of packs. So most of them are like, they're pretty small, a dollar. They do have hundred dollar packs, but it's funny. So Bad Ozzy, smash or smash like or get out. Uh, I think it's good, man. I really do. I think this game... I have pl I play it more than Ebony now. Now, would I do that if I wasn't botting? You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I have the freedom of not having to log into Ebony anymore. So... But these are the packs. So, 20 to a dollar in there. Then there's $99 packs. Which, you just get diamonds. Which is kind of stupid. And... You could use the diamonds on very limited stuff in the game. So, do you pay full price? No, because I buy Ebony. I buy with Aptoid. I have to pay the Aptoid price like anybody else. So, I get VIP, 5% day, 5% uh, the Mushroom 5 code that I have. So, I do that. But other than that, I don't get free packs. Gaming Axe with Genghis just stopped to harass you a little. Right on. And then here's the Easter Bunny event. So here's other packs you can buy. And basically you just get chances at the wheel. And then this is the wheel. Uh, you missed it. I already spun. And obviously the red items are difficult to get. I've won most of them because this is where I spent my $400 this event. And that's it. So, you know, uh, yeah, that's basically the packs. Uh, it, I, it's like early Ebony, like you're only getting like 
a million, like a 500,000, a million wood and food. Because you don't need much at this point. But I assume this game is super successful. Is it cheaper to become a Neo in Mushroom Land? Absolutely. So I'll show you our rankings and show you what my teammate, how much better he is than everybody. And we've had three server wars. And um, so the way server wars go, you line up your guys, like 1 through 20. And if you lose, you're out. If you win, you face their next guy. You face their next guy. And he's run through the entire team all three times. And he spent about $3,000 in a month. So it is way easier. Uh, and he probably doesn't have to spend too much more because you know in Ebony, the person who wins at the start of the server and wins every event gets all the, the free rewards to stay on top. So if we go to here, so here he is, number one. And I'll just zoom in a bit for you. So he is 10 levels, 119 above the rest. Now that's like... That's like K38, K39, K40. But they're not all the same, right? So you got to click on them to see their power and their skills. So if I click on him, uh, he is 3 billion final HP, 120, and then 120 million, and then whatever that next one is, 27,000. 27, Let's look at number two and see how much further ahead he is. So he was 3 billion. This guy's 1 billion. And much, much less than everything else. So he just dominates. I'll go against him right now, just to show you how much stronger. So I'll practice against number two to show you. So this is number two. And I lasted, what was that, three seconds? So let's go against number one and practice against him. See how much stronger he is. So half a second. And he would do that to every single person on server. So you can see he has all yellow and gold gear. And let's see if anyone else, I don't know if there's anyone else. This guy has none. I think this guy has one. Oh, nothing. I feel like there's one guy I saw who has a yellow piece of gear. It's not me. So no, that's it. I think the one guy I saw with one was Lord Hulago, and now he has nine. So yeah, uh, he's much stronger. Does it have a toxic world chat? Has to be fun. Let's look at the world chat. So people are telling me world chat is so toxic, but... I don't see it, like, because I'm used to Ebony Toxic, and it doesn't look toxic. So let's scroll back. Mine would be a boy from a book talk. Okay, so I see nothing. Female mate of mine said a guy likes Koenig from Cod. Okay, how tall are you? Instantly. So it doesn't look bad. I remember I said my height before. So it looks like it's a dating site like Ebony apparently. I might be short, but I can bite ankles. Honestly, I'd love to be voot and short. I have a high vertical. You mean cute? I look like a potato. I like potatoes. So I'm not seeing effing Barbies look poop. Hate the more is better. I prefer natural. Okay, good, good. There you go, Ozzy. There's hope for you. <laughs> and I will say that I've never seen the uh, the dating site in World Chat like this before. I've also never seen the toxic stuff that people talk about. All I've seen is... Uh... Well, let's see. Let's do a test. I'll say, hey, what's up? Let's see how the general opinion of me in this World Chat. Let's see how they... Uh... How they react. So far, no hellos back. But uh, Ebony has a much much more toxic chat, obviously. There, I got a hello. I got a sub GK. And uh, should we leave on a high note with that? 
Can you send pics? You cannot. So I could talk and I could send emojis. Their chat is limited at this point. It is disappointing. Uh, it won't let me put a link. Like it'll block out like the HTML and then in YouTube it'll put like y o star 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 dot com. So I can't. Even to put our Discord in there. So we we have uh, probably the number one Discord in Legend of Mushroom right now. But to advertise it, the only reason we can advertise it is because we paid money to get uh, level three Discord. So we have a username and they could just type in the username rather than like a code that's like DGXY42. You cannot send pics in Whisper either, I don't think. Let me look, let's grab a random person. And no, there's no pic option, just a microphone option. Unless I'm missing something. But it doesn't seem like there is any option of pictures, which is disappointing. I agree. If you think that's disappointing, because I do. And hopefully that's something that does change. I've also never seen anyone use the voice option. So I've never heard microphone on there. I remember early days, Ebony. People used to speak into the mic all the time on World Chat. Always like some sort of fake uh, voice. Do you have a refer, refer a friend code for us to join? So there is the link in the description to the video to download the game. And there is a refer a friend code. I've never used it, but I could, uh, I, I could send it to you. So right here, redeem code. No, there is a place for me to, uh, settings. Maybe my server's full. Or maybe I'm missing it. Friend. There is a... There was invite. Oh, there we go. There it is. Invite friends. So I can copy that. And let's see... Yeah, I don't want to go off of this. Let's see if I can. Uh... So there you go, Ozzy. The wife got some screen time there. Uh, I will try. I'll send that refer a friend code before uh, I finish the video. I'll get it. Let's see. Let's see if I can go into uh, Discord on here. And sometimes it. Uh... How many else can you make? General chat here, Ozzy. I'll post it. There you go. There is the refer a friend code in our Discord group. There's no alts in this game. You can't make any alts because you just can't take stuff from people. Like, that's one of the things. Like, Ebony, you could steal people's shit. In this, you can't. You can just beat them and finish higher in the r rankings and get better daily rewards because of it. Um, so you don't need alts. They wouldn't help you at all. Because uh, there's just no purpose for it. If you want to know, is the bot working? And how many alts can I make in Ebony? I haven't tried in a long time, so couldn't tell you. But I've only heard whispers from people that say they can't make them anymore. So I don't know. I guess that's good for the sell your account business. Guess people's alts have a little bit more value now. What do we got here? The game is a little bit like uh, everything where there's a red dot, you gotta click it and uh, get your free stuff. Lucky Hunt here, oh yeah, so. All right, this is what I actually wanted to figure out. So I got 1023 
and let's add all of my free lucky points. So I'm at 1072. Is that what my point total is going to be in this event? Yeah, 10. I got to try and get up in that event because, uh, yeah, that has some good rewards if you finish high. But it's not over for a few more days. So challenges. Can I challenge anyone? Wow, I got a lot of challenges today. I didn't use them all yesterday. Plus, I bought a bunch. There's lifetime packs you can buy in this too. Do you get lag? Do you see any lag? There's no lag in this game. It's not that complicated. Uh, customer support. So this is something that's lacking. Um, it sends you to their Discord group. So you have to do customer support in Discord. So unless they changed it, let's look. So go to my thing here, customer service. Yeah, you got to go to their Discord. So I don't like that. Um, not sure what sort of issues people have. I haven't had any or thought of any. And it's not that serious a game where I couldn't just say, see ya. So there's me progressing levels. So I'm on vo void four. So everything goes from like one to 10 and then one to 10. So like there was like, Easy, normal, hard, hell, chaos, apocalypse. Now I'm at void. I don't know what's next. I could ask Hulago, but he's far, far ahead, I think. So back to the arena. Let's challenge someone. So Peanut, we practiced against him and we know we can beat him. So because you... You just want to win these. You don't want to take any risky challenges. Some people ask Hulago, our server whale, to not attack them because they want to finish higher. And every loss brings you down. But he's like, screw you. So Peanut's driving a level 5 airplane. And my car is a couple levels above that. So when you see that, you pretty much know for sure you're probably going to win. So quite a few people are stronger than me now in the millions of power. So Konzar, I'm going to practice against this guy because he's right around my power. So I can practice before going against him. So just to see. So we are in a close battle, but I think I'm going to win. Because I got skills that get stronger as the battle goes on. And most people don't have those. So I'll skip ahead. And yeah, I, I did win. So Kanzar. So if I see him, I will definitely be hitting yes. Marionetta. This was a guy in the green here who was competing with our server whale. for Trying to beat him for number one and couldn't. So I'd be shocked if I can beat this guy. Well, it's really close. Looks like he's fallen. He, should, he was whooping me just a day or two ago. And I think I'm winning. It's really close. I need a skill to start to open up. Oh, I barely got him. It was basically a tie. And there's a luck factor. So I won't want to fight him again because he could probably beat me. But there he is. Let's do it. It does come on a PC as well. I don't know if it's landscape because I don't play the PC version. Can a real free-to-play keep up? Like you're not going to win the server, um, obviously. Oh, and I lost that one. I knew I shouldn't have took a battle with him. So there's alliance events where if your alliance does well, you will get t lots and lots of rewards. So you don't have to spend much. Uh, daily events, you're not going to do too well by not spending. But you don't lose too much. Um, one of the guys who's really good at the game, so he tells me lots of stuff that's going on, like, upcoming events and that sort of stuff. 
He said basically, if you spend money, you get like a one week speed up advantage on people in this game. So it's not too bad. It's kind of like early Ebony where you pay money to skip time. Not that like there's nothing behind a paywall. So I like that. Ozzy, how's your SVS going? You playing or what? I'm about to check in. I got to try and get that... Uh, 540 million, but these guys asked us for a no bubbles. No, because you can't take anything from anybody. There's no world map. There's just like an alliance area. I'll show you. So I do this. This is like my thing all day. My characters go try and do these levels, level up, and then we have our family area. So one twice a day, we'll fight this big fish together. And then there's like a shop. You can go here, much like Ebony. You can click help to help people finish their buildings faster. And then there's this area. You can fight together as a family, but I already did it. And that's really it. Then you have like, this is kind of your like interface of your city. And you know, you grow your resources here. You go in the mine and look for other resources. But no one can come in and take... The only thing people can take from you in this game is this. I can steal someone's farm. So I'll steal it. So I'm stealing it right there. The little blue mushroom. With the burglar... Burglar uh, mask over his eyes. Anyways, they can fight me off. Or they can ask someone in their alliance to fight me off. But I don't take much. I only take like five out of a hundred of their uh, harvest. So you don't lose much. And that's all anyone can do to you. Other than beat you in this arena. Which means, means you're ranking in rewards for the day. It doesn't... Uh, I don't actually take anything from your city. So it has annoying mini games. Uh... Yeah, so it has mini games that that take just a few minutes to complete and then it will give you, so like right here, so you'll do these mini games to level up your, to get more lamp tries. So like that was at zero when the day started and now I got more tries where I can run the lamp and give me points to level up. The hook would just be to level up and outscore other people on server. So like if I go to um, this event. So like I'm sixth on the server in power. So I guess the hook would be to get better at that. Uh, and level up. Kind of like any other game. What makes you log in every hour? Um, so the grind. What I'm doing right now. You see this right here, lamps of stamina basically, yeah. So this right here, these battles I'm doing, you can do this with or without your lamp, but it's a lot slower to progress without your lamp. Um, also, I'm going to log out right now and then log back in and you get offline rewards. So if you're offline for like four hours, you get rewards. Not as much as if you're online. So the hook, hook to log in would just be to grind. But you can leave your phone on the side and just touch the screen once in a while. And that will work. So let's look at my offline rewards. So right there, hardly any. But there's also offline rewards in the prison. So we can look here. So offline, I wasn't offline long enough. But I got these ones for being online. So basically you just level up and there's no risk to lose anything to anyone else. And that's it. You play a bunch of games to get stamina. Pretty much. And there's also... Uh, so I'll show you here. So... Pal and skill. 
these are books that you draw to get uh, tickets to make you stronger. So you want to level up your skills, which are here. You want to get all the red and pinks. And you want to get all the red and pink pals. In the draws here, this will show you the percentage based on the probability that you'll get red and pink ones, which are the really good ones. And the more draws you do, the better chance you have to win them. So you want to do things like that. And then uh, other things that would make you log in. So where, where I was going with that, sorry, was they have an event for those every week. So they have a skill event, a pal event, or pet event. Then they have a relic event. And I've been saving these. So I have 235,000 of them. Most people don't have these locks. Like they have opened them up. But I'm not opening them up because I'm saving them for the event. So a free-to-play player can just play smart, save the stuff. We have soul event right now. So soul event is here, this red thing. And... You acquire them by fighting bosses or spinning the wheel, which would be paying money. Obviously, if you pay money, you're going to win more of them. But you can still win them and get lower levels by fighting bosses. And you can save all your crystals to spin this wheel for this event rather than doing it ahead of time. And then do better in the event. So here's my ranking in the event because I have spun them only in this event and I'm ninth. So then I'll rank higher and get better re rewards. So that's kind of uh, the strategy. Save your stuff. Do it during the event. There's mount event where you want to level this thing up. And you can see I can level up right now or I could save them. I have 2,400 of them and I'm not using them because I'm waiting for the next time the event comes around. So just like speed up event and resource event. So... Uh, Anyways, I think that's a good enough live stream for tonight. We got over an hour in and just wanted to show this game. Hopefully some people check it out. And uh, if you are going to check it out, download it in the description to the video. Nice and easy there. And if you have any problems with it, send me a message. Leave a comment in the video and I will reply to it. Now I will have to uh, get to... SVS in Ebony. Oh, this is a nice picture for you. Uh, what do you think of that there, Ozzy? This game, eh? Perverts. Right in the background. They just snuck that in. I noticed that a couple days ago. We'll wait for you to uh, reply if you saw that. Hopefully you did. All right, looks like uh, no one caught my sense of humor there. We'll do a couple challenges and... <clears throat> Basically, you just try and finish as high as you can in every daily reward and try and get free, uh, free stuff without spending too much money. It is also uh, a strategy that I do in the arena I don't play till later in the day usually, like I save some attempts. Because if you're high, people will try and hit you and knock you down. And obviously, like, everyone above me can knock me down. So all they gotta do is pick me. And they're gonna beat me. And then I can buy a few extra challenges per day. But I'll save those, I won't spend them yet. I'll see where my ranking is. I'm in seventh now. That's about where I should finish, top 10. So as long as I'm not going to be like 15th or 20th because people are ganging up on me, I'll uh, not spend my gems to move up. So there's Ozzy's uh, statue again in the background. They want you to play this game, man. Easy peasy. Ozzy's easy. All right. And uh, Genghis logging out. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment.
Now, how do I log out here? Got to go on this computer. Can you get stuff? Oh, just before we go, last comment. Can you get stuff? Can you gift stuff if I join? Um... Hmm. Well, I could get you in my alliance, and I can't mail stuff. No, there's no mail. You could be in an alliance with good people, like a good alliance. We're the best alliance on servers, so you'd benefit winning every event with that. Other than that, uh, I send you five bucks on Aptoid, man. You join my alliance, I'll send you a little pack. How about that? Just for being, just for. Like resource or decorations? Yeah, no. It's a continuation of the same question. Can't. I will send you five dollars Aptoid coins. Join my alliance, and maybe I'll mail you some of this cake. And it it has a little Easter egg on it too. Not sure if you could see there. So, 